Hi friends, in this session we can discuss classical macroeconomic model. The term classical economics was invented by Karl Marx to refer to the theory of Ricardo and his predecessors including Adam Smith. The body of economic thoughts developed by Adam Smith, Malthus, Ricardo, J. B. C. Alfred Marshall and Pigo are generally regarded as classical theory. The major elements of classical theory are full employment equilibrium, sales law of market, wage price flexibility, quantity theory of money and real theory of interest. Among them, the first three elements such as full employment equilibrium, sales law of markets, wage price flexibility are regarded as three pillars of classical system. Now, generally, classical economists advocated laissez faire policy, that is, the non interventionist policy of the government in the business activities of the people. According to the classical economists, the individuals are the best judge of their own. The government's role is very much limited, such as to maintain the law and order in the economy and do some works which are essential for welfare of the people, but there is no scope for profit. Thus, laissez fair policy refers to the policy where government exercises minimum control on economic activities. Classical economists preferred competition rather than government intervention. They advocated a free market economy that functions very smoothly without much government intervention. Now the major elements of classical system are number one full employment equilibrium according to classical economists the economy functions at full employment level full employment equilibrium is a normal situation and any deviation from that situation is only temporary in nature that will be automatically corrected there will not be any involuntary unemployment. As we know, full employment is a situation where all people who are able and willing to work at the existing wage rate gets employment. So, full employment is a normal situation according to classical economists. Second element is Says law of market. J. B. Say, that is Jean Baptiste Say, a French economist, developed this theory called Says law of market, which states that supply creates its own demand. It means that whatever is produced, equivalent income is generated in the economy and that income will clear the market. There will not be any problem of overproduction or unemployment. Now, another element of classical system is wage price flexibility. As we explained, Classical economists believed that full employment equilibrium is a normal situation. If there exists any temporary disequilibrium, that will be automatically corrected by the flexible wages and prices. That is, when there exists temporary unemployment, the unemployed workers are ready to work at a lower wage than the existing market wage. When the wage decreases, the cost of production falls. 
which leads to fall in the prices, increase in demand, increase in supply, and more employment opportunities. And the problem of unemployment will be corrected, and the economy reaches at full employment equilibrium level. Thus, the implications of wage price flexibility are economic system is self adjusting. No external interven intervention is needed in the economy. The economy functions smoothly, which is self adjusting. The market forces will solve all the problems. Then, General overproduction and unemployment is impossible. That will be automatically corrected by the flexible wage and price. There will not be any possibility of deficiency of aggregate demand because saving and investment equals that will be brought about by the flexible rate of interest. Now, other two major elements of classical system are quantity theory of money and real theory of interest. Quantity theory of money states the direct and proportional relationship between money supply and price level. When money supply changes, that will lead to direct and proportionate change in price level. Okay, there are two versions to quantity theory of money. Cash transaction approach and cash balance approach. The first cash transaction approach was developed by Irving Fisher by using the Equation of exchange MV equal to PT. Irwin Fisher considered the medium of exchange function of money. Then ACP Go developed the cash transaction approach and he developed in cash balance approach. Cash balance approach considered medium, medium of exchange function and store of value function of money. Generally, quantity theory of money explains direct and proportionate relationship between money supply and price level. When money supply changes, the price level also changes equal proportionately. Now, another element is real theory of interests or classical theory of interests. According to classical economists, interest is the price paid for the use of capital. Rate of interest is determined by demand for capital and supply of capital. Demand for capital is determined by investment demand and the supply of capital depends upon savings. Since investment and savings are determined by the real factors such as productivity of capital and attitude towards thrift, this theory is also known as real theory of interest. These are the basic elements of classical system. Now, we can conclude here. Thank you.